y'all. Thank you so much for stopping in today. My name is Julie and this is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. Today we're fixing tomato spinach chicken spaghetti. It's a long name. It's so good. You're going to love it. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button if you're interested in easy delicious recipes on a weekly basis. And let's go ahead and get started. In my pan, I already have my water boiling with a little bit of salt in there. We're gonna add about eight ounces of your spaghetti noodles of choice. I'm choosing to use a gluten-free. You use whatever you want and then just follow along to the directions as on the package. I have my pan on just above medium heat and we are gonna add in some olive oil, about two tablespoons or a little bit more. The recipe is gonna be listed directly below, so make sure you check it out there, or also you can always find the exact recipe and the exact measurements on my Instagram page, The Retro Apron. With our olive oil, we are going to add some red pepper flakes, a few cloves of fresh garlic, a little bit of salt, one small onion, and right about three quarters of a pound of boneless, skinless chicken. This smells absolutely delicious with that garlic and onion. Mm. Our chicken has not cooked the whole way through yet, but we're gonna go ahead and add our sun-dried tomatoes at this point. Just a little dash of paprika, which is optional as well. Our spaghetti noodles are getting close to being finished, and so is our chicken. Our chicken is pretty much cooked all the way through, so we're gonna add a few more ingredients. We're gonna add a quarter of a cup of fresh basil, three Roma tomatoes, diced of course. And just because we can, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of butter. When I was a kid, I hated spaghetti sauce. So when my mom would fix spaghetti, she would save some plain noodles out for me on the side and I would put ketchup on them. <laughs> and that's how I ate my spaghetti, just plain noodles with ketchup. That's disgusting. Needless to say, my taste buds have come a long way. Our pasta is thoroughly cooked. This has cooked down and reduced very nicely. It smells so good. I wish there, I wish y'all could just smell it. It smells amazing. The very last ingredient that we're gonna add is our spinach. And we're just gonna cook that until it wilts. We're gonna add our pasta and sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese and we're done. All right, this is completely cooked. The spinach is not melted. The spinach is not melted, it's wilted. So the very last thing we have to do is, we are actually gonna go ahead and just cut that off. We are gonna throw those spaghetti noodles right in there and combine that together. Gonna sprinkle a little more salt on there. And of course, last but not least, it's time to eat. Oh my gosh. I think we should put just a little more cheese on there though. This literally tastes like you've been in the kitchen for hours and it took not even 20 minutes. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite pasta dish is because as of right now, this very second, this is my favorite pasta dish of all time. Thank y'all so much for stopping in today. It's so much appreciated. Had a great time and I can't wait to see you next time. I can't stop. I can't stop eating it.